Hi everyone, welcome back to Interior Expat. I'm Bev Moncrief and the video today is all about the practice of Tai Chi. So I got the privilege of going over to my friend Shannon's house and recording her leading a practice with my friend Renee. This is something that they've been doing together for a while and it really was beautiful to watch. It gave me a lot of ideas to talk about and ones that really are meaningful to me are the friendships of women which is something that really is a big part of living here in San Miguel and so impactful on your quality of life. And that's one of the big reasons why I love living here are all the amazing women that live in this town. Shannon, for example, has lived here for 24 years. She's uh, an amazing artist and photographer. Uh, she came here all on her own 24 years ago, uh, not with the intention of moving here, but actually taking an art class and two months later, she ended up coming back to this town and moving here. Renee also has kind of a cool story of how she came into San Miguel. So Renee and her husband rented a house. They were in the house for just two weeks and Renee walked over and offered to buy a neighbor lady's house. Kind of crazy, but that's how it happens here. I know I did the very same thing. I was here in this town on vacation for one month and when I left to go back to the States, I had already bought a home here in San Miguel. So it's kind of a weird thing that happens, so beware if you come to this town to visit, you might end up with the house too. Um, in addition to this practice, what I want you to notice is the beauty and grace of this practice. Uh, Shannon's been doing Tai Chi for 20 years and it really is pretty uh, profound to watch her movements. I was just so impressed. So the the key elements to know about Tai Chi, first of all, it's a practice that's been done, done in China for over a thousand years. You exhale with the movement and inhale with the movement. So each movement is, is meant to be an entire breath. Now, uh, Shannon told me that the practice you're about to see, I recorded for about eight minutes is actually supposed to be 20 minutes long. So when you watch it, imagine it just a lot slower and extended with each breath. Um, the other thing to know is it's something that you can do from a very young age all the way up to old age until you're ready to kick the bucket. It's a great practice, it's very meditative uh, and I think good for the soul. So I hope you enjoy the practice and I hope you see the kinship and bond between these two beautiful women that are great friends. Yeah. And how about you, Renee? How did you learn to do Tai Chi? I learned by um, following Shannon. She's primarily been my teacher. Okay. And we try to do this two to three times a week. Um, it starts your day off wonderfully because mm -hmm. uh, it calms you down, it centers you. And I think that for me at the at uh, this age, in my 60s, it's really good because I have to memorize something and I have to learn to center myself and to be aware of what's going on around me. I noticed in both of your faces when you were doing the practice, it looked like you both were meditating. Is that true? Yeah, you are to a certain extent, but you're thinking of exactly what you're doing at the time. like. A skier would skiing down a hill. Your mind doesn't go into what am I going to make for dinner. Mm -hmm. You're skiing down a hill, and you have to concentrate at what you're doing 100%. So it takes you into that place where you're not bothered by outside thoughts. Mm -hmm. So it is very meditative. Yeah. So the sound of a car going by is not even registered. No. no. Yeah. And you should be doing it with breath. I was uh -huh. doing it with saying the, the names of the movements, uh -huh. but when you're breathing it, it goes a lot slower because you're filling your lungs with a, an inward gesture and mm -hmm. you're exhaling fully. Were you just saying the names for my benefit or when you normally practice together, do you say the names? No. no. Okay. So that would make it even harder to know. It's nice and quiet uh -huh. and it's yeah. such a beautiful feeling 
to, it's like a dance, really. Huh. And one of the uh, things to keep in mind is if there was rice paper spread on the floor, you wouldn't want to rip it. So that's what your movements should be. Wow, now is that how it was done traditionally in China on rice paper? No. That's just a thought you keep yeah. in your head. Yeah. Okay, interesting. But there is a, there's all kinds of uh, practices mm -hmm. to, to, to become skilled at movement. Mm -hmm. And they used to use teacups full of tea to do this kind of thing. Uh huh. You know, so that you're, you're paying attention and your movement and right. you're moving. So it really is about uh, focus and balance and grace. Yeah, and yeah. breath, mostly breath.